on the last video. Scones. 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 Scones, Brown. Scones, Brown. And so it continues. Hey, Brown, buddy. Hey, man. You're scratching. That's good. So, you know we died a few times, but we still learned about the red, the green, and... Don't give me that. We learned about the birds, buddy. We just gotta add them up, and we're good. You know what that equaled out to, man? That. Alright, what is this? News article. July 1930, Daily Flamingo. Husband borrows 60 pounds from wife's 365 pound bank account. Huh. Well, that's rude. Oh. Wait, no. It's just a piece. We gotta actually do. We actually gotta have you sniff this, don't we, buddy? I was gonna have, like, subtraction stuff going on right now, but I think you can handle this. I should also cut my crowbar again. No, you put that back on yourself. And crowbar. Alright, man. Go sniff it. Go. Where is it at, friend? He's on the scent. Where could it be? It's through here. Oh, what can we see? What do you got, buddy? Is it... Is it over here? Oh, in here. Okay. What the hell is wrong with you? July 1930. Daily Flamingo. Husband borrows yet another 30 pounds from wife's bank account. Huh. Well, do you, do you want help? No, you're... I guess you're content with being there. Alright then. Bye. See buddy, this is just simple math. Altogether, he swiped $90, or pounds I suppose. From her wife's 365 pound bank account. That equals out to about 275. That's good. Okay. So. 275. Is. Is. They usually give things. Is it in the box still? Alone.
<sighs> what? Brown, what the hell's going on now? A slip of paper is beneath the clothing. The moral? Everlasting happiness. The bird of happiness. Once a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. The bird would take her to forever land, or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little, and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. The end. The moral, everlasting happiness is a joke. I can respect that. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, and so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she never forget it, ever again. Everlasting. Good morning, Jennifer. Do you remember anything new? Hmm, I see. You remember one of them. But that's still not good enough. You're such a silly girl. Hurry, hurry. Read the story, Jennifer. <laughs> Your laugh is dumb. What's this one? I read, read, put, put, read, read it. Put, put your eyes on it. Put, Jennifer, come on, girl, come on. You just, you, you read it. God damn it. You read this one. There we go. Jennifer found the goat sisters. The goat sisters. Oh, well, they're happy. Little sister wrote a letter. Ba ba. Big sister munched it up. Ba ba. Little sister studied her notes. Ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds. Ba ba. Little sister wanted to read Big Sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. But with Big Sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who was there to read the letter to? Ba ba. Well, Big Sister did kind of have it coming. Kind of. You, you left, you left something where you were sitting, just saying, well, take it. Inventory full, oh. Brown, let's clear out our inventory. Brown, I just realized something. We never really got the pieces for these items. And now we, um, 
or is stuck with them. Oh boy. Well, we gotta live with our mistakes, buddy. Meg's pencil. The name Meg is written on the pencil. Probably has chew marks where the eraser is. That's gross, Meg. What is this? Lollipop. That's delicious, Meg. You have good taste in putting things in your mouth. Aside from the eraser and pencil thing, that's gross. Alright. Where we at? I have no idea. Brown? We're gonna sniff a pencil. Are you ready, buddy? I'm sure you are. I have my trusty pipe at the ready and we're gonna go. Let's go. Lead the way, man. Charge it. Ooh. Hi. What's this? Another lollipop. Holy crap. This place is Candy Cane Lane. It's also some kind of place where people can fall off the rafters and probably hurt themselves when they fall down all the way. I don't know why I'm going this way, but I want to see if there's more lollipops. However, I don't see any. This was a terrible mistake. I have made many in my past, and I have made one currently at the present. Well, I can still get there from here, though. Ooh, and th this thing. Aristocrat Page. The Red Crayon Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the prince and princess. I promise to love thy neighbor. I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. That is only fair. I highly agree. You should always punish the unfaithful, for they are heretics. That's not true. You're just being kind of crazy, but that's fine. Go, buddy. This is, that's the general basic concept of this game, is you gotta find something, and then you use that to find another something. It's kind of, you know, bare bones, but that's cool, that's fine, that's fine, let's go, man. Hmm. Hey, maybe we can go join that kid beating up stuff, but you're going this way, so I can't go over there. I think it's over there anyway. Can't really tell, because the camera's not that good. Oh, here we go. Give me it. Stray dog last. Stray dog's notes. The following are notes on the monster stray dog. As described to us by the beautiful princess of the rose. He's big, strong, scarred, loyal, talkative, cleanly, and he kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current task, Stray Dog Investigation. First floor restroom. Gather notes from rumors scribble on walls. Assigned to Susan. Oh, let's sniff this out. Charge! This is how we roll. Before you go, I want to go see how this kid's doing. Hey, kid. Uh, hello. Hey. The sloppy prince paused from his sword practice and said, What's Miss Meg looking for? A gift? Probably not. Miss Diana already found the goat. Anyway, I gotta train to improve my speed. I'm preparing for a duel. <laughs> so, don't bother me. You know what? That was reasonable. You were being reasonable to me, and I appreciate that. I mean, sure, you said don't bother me, but... You still seem kind of busy because you were preparing for a duel, so I can't be upset with you, man. So thanks for not being a total dick. Just following my faithful companion, Brown. Because his nose is about as strong as a propeller for a jet engine that's going places I've never been before. Did you find something? Oh. Snowman, you broke it. Why you gotta go do that, man? Oh. Why did that move? Why did you move? Ugh. I don't know. Give me this. Love letter. We're invading someone's privacy. Oh, Diana, Diana. I love you with all my heart. Mag. Aw, oh, man! Wait, that is... How do you come from the floor? You're a goat child. Ah, well. Block him for me, buddy. You're doing good. Keep it up. 
Get over here, kid. Come on. Oh. Oh, you're scared now. Good. I'm glad you are. If you weren't scared, then I would have to be doing my job a little bit better. Well, at least it doesn't leave a lock. That would suck. Oh. Darn. Ice pick. <gasps> Is that a new weapon? Do I have a new weapon? Is this a new weapon? Yeah. It is. Brown, I have a pick. I'm gonna pick some bitches poke. It's really tiny, but I bet it's pretty potent. You know why? It's meant for ice. Ice is more hard than skin. I gotta leave this place. Take me to a land unknown, friend. Kid, you're doing great. Keep it up, man. You'll kick gas in that duel, no problem. I believe in you wholeheartedly. My heart is about as large as my fist. It's pretty awesome. What do you got over here? The strong willed princess and the cold princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened quietly. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? She was writing you a love letter. I already got it. And rent it in half. Oh. I tried to make the goat eat it, but it wouldn't even look at it. I see. Well, what would I do with the rest of the letter? Can can I have it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. Oh, a notebook. Neat. Margaret's little book. Meg. Chapters, The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Club Manners, Meg's Invention Corner, Findings on the Land of the Imps. The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 1, Curtsying. Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 2, Hosting. Words of the Princess of the Red Rose, Jennifer. Your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter, and will be amply rewarded. Meg's Invention Corner. Torture Chair. Spinning Chair. Torture Bag. Song for an Onion. Onion Bag. Secrets of the Land of. Playroom. Following the popularity of airships, the orphanage built several. Hey, can I have your goat? Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. Okay. Part of this letter was torn off and is missing. I need you to go find it. Oh, Diana, Diana, wherefore art thou? It seems to be a letter meant for Diana, but it is torn and impossible to read. Jennifer found torn letter. Okay. Sally the black goat has been found. But Mary the white goat is still missing. Now, where did she go? Probably somewhere. But it's alright, because I got brown to sniff out all the things I need. Oh wait, uh... Wait, which... I'm gonna... What... Is... Probably this one. Go find me things. Go. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken doggy? What do you do with a drunken Jennifer? I don't know, so smell my letters. What do you do with a drunken seagull? What do you do when your name is Spike Spiegel? What do you do when you ride a jangled an eagle? In that movie with the mice, people. Where could it have gone? I don't know. Where could it have gone? Do you know where it is, buddy? Where is it? You didn't see it over here? Okay. Oh. Run away from them! Excuse me? Oh, fuck! Okay, okay, um, alright, okay, brown, brown, um, 
We're gonna have to do something special here. All right, we're gonna run this time. Just run. No, move. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going, buddy. Keep moving, man. You're doing good. Yes, we're good. All right, keep it up. We'll be fine. There's another goat, people, but that's cool because you know what? They just want to eat some grass or paper. They're weird. Do you smell anything good, boy? Like maybe more of a Meg letter? She loves letters. I'm more of a typist myself, so I send emails instead of letters, but you know. My pen pal must be furious with me by now. I haven't responded in like fucking 20 years. Jesus. This is another battle. Holy shit, those are giant scissors. And a pitchfork. Oh my gosh, alright. Hey, distract them for me, buddy. Yeah, I'll get this, this shovel. Yeah. Ow. I'm surprised I didn't chop my legs off. That potentially could happen. Holy crap. Alright, this ice pick is pretty good. You keep it up, man. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Good job. Excuse me, let me kill you. Thank you. Good. I shivved him in the throat. Do you know why? That's where people breathe. Excuse me, thing. You missed. That's good. I stabbed you in the kidney. You're gonna miss again, and then I stabbed you in the spinal cord. Your spinal fluid's leaking everywhere. I don't even know if you have spinal fluid, but you do have jello blood. You were barking at the corner the whole time. You're ridiculous, Brown. I think... Was there something over here? with girls like her. <laughs> it's into the onion bag for her. It's like I'm playing the movie Hook, but with far more lost children than I care to admit. <sighs> so, do you want to find something? Like, like this? A ragged goat doll is lying on the floor. A piece of paper is underneath it. Even true love is quickly shredded by.
Also, I would like to point out that these children are fucking mean. The Goat Sisters. Little sister wrote a letter. Ba ba. Big sister munched it up. Ba ba. Little sister studied her notes. Ba ba. Big sister tore them to shreds. Ba ba. Little sister wanted to read big sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. But with big sister dead in the pool of amber blood, who was there to read a letter to? Ba ba. Even true love is quickly shredded by conflict. Well, I guess it depends on the gravity of the conflict, but yeah, I guess I can see that. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, and so she wrote it on the chalkboard. And so she never forget it, ever again. True love. What do you do with a drunken seagull? What do you do when you make a spice beagle? What do you do with a drunken seagull?